Let's see a demo of the Capacitor Console, a new feature in the Yokohama family release. New in the Yokohama family release, we are introducing the Intraday Capacity Console, which empowers capacity planners and dispatchers to more effectively forecast and meet resourcing demands within selected date ranges and across multiple territories. Dispatchers will be able to more quickly and easily identify scenarios where technicians are either underbooked or overbooked and then they can take immediate action from the calendar view to assign or remove technicians to or from a job based on their capacity as well as their skill set. Working as a bell tutor, I'm a capacity planner for a company called Ascern. We are a networking company here in the United States. On the left panel in the FSM workspace, we have this new icon that mimics a Tetric brick. And once you click on that, we are launched into the capacity console dashboard. Here, I have a comprehensive view of all of my territories and their capacities based on my company's predefined criteria. As a capacity planner, I can filter what territory should be displayed in the console. Because my company has over 10 territories, I can decide to view all the territories at once for a more holistic view or specify what territory I want viewed at a time for a more granular view. Bear in mind, I can choose to see as many territories as possible. I can also choose to view our dashboard by demand channel which specifies what work type should be displayed in the console based on predefined work type. We have our capacity spread across copper insulation and repair, direct home insulation and repair, fiber insulation and repair, as well as fixed line insulation and repair. We also have a others category, um, which could be for a routine checkup or inspection work. As a manager, I can choose to view my territories either two weeks at a time or one week at a time just to make sure that my console is much more readable. This does not mean that I cannot plan for up to a month out as I have a date filter here that allows me to go as far out as I want or as far back as I want. To simplify navigation, there is a today button that will bring my dashboard back to present date, no matter how far back or ahead I have navigated. One of the more exciting things about this console is that as a capacity planner, I can choose to view my territories based on utilization to shed more light on underutilized zones, optimally utilized zones, or overutilized zones. The legend, when expanded, will provide additional insights into the capacity colors and their content, which we have light red for an underutilized zone, optimally utilized zone will be shown in yellow, and light green will show our overutilized zones. We'll take a look at one of my underutilized zones, which is Aurora. When I hover, on the date and summary, I'm provided this scoring detail, which is used capacity versus allocated capacity. I can also open the summary tab to show the number of agents we have in Aurora, allocated capacity, and unused capacity. For Aurora, I have allocated our resources to the various demand channels based on our previous customer trends, but we can modify them accordingly to adjust for surges or emergencies. We had previously allocated 25% to fiber insulation and 10% to copper insulation, but as we see our customers up more for fiber insulation due to the recent broadcast of the benefits, we can adjust the reservation accordingly to increase allocation of fiber insulation to 30%. The capacity console dashboard makes sure that I have all the tools I need as a capacity manager to visualize my capacity and update my reservation rules in one place.